Hi, my name is Dr. Lola Okeo. I'm a medical professional and an autism professional. Today, we're going to commence the series on how to help a child overcome speech delay. That is how to move a child from little or no words to language explosion. Today, I'm going to begin by laying certain foundations, which I believe are critical in helping a child overcome speech delay. So today, I'm going to be telling us the differences between speech language and communication while these three words are used interchangeably while generally a child having challenges with any of these three words we normally just say maybe the child has a speech delay while speech delay is a general term but truly when a child has challenges with speech challenges with language challenges with talking it could be a speech problem it could be a language problem and it could be a communication problem so what is speech speech has to do with the use of sounds and also using sounds to form words, that is speech. When we talk about language, language has to do with using a combination of words to form sentences. Yes, and language can be receptive or expressive. When we talk about receptive, that means the child's ability to understand, while expressive has to do with ability to vocalize. Okay, then when we talk about communication, communication has to do with ability to be able to interact or convey an idea to another person. And this can be verbal and non-verbal. The verbal components of communication has to do with the use of sentences or a group of words to interact with another person or to convey information to another person. While the non-verbal component of communication has to do with using other non-verbal cues like gestures, so a child's ability to point, to wave, or even using sign language to convey information or interact is a non-verbal form of communication. As we proceed in this series, you understand why these components and ability to differentiate these components is very important. Because while general term for challenges with speech, language, and communication can be just saying a child has a speech delay, or a language delay or a speech and language disorder truly in, in in order for you to effectively support a child and help a child to gain words and begin to talk we have to be able to identify the exact component of a component where the child is struggling or has challenges so that we can effectively help the child to navigate the challenges and begin to thrive in my next video, I'm going to share the normal speech and language milestones that a child is expected to attain from age zero to adulthood. Hope to see you then. Thank you.